YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dice of Our Toy Review. Today I'm just going to be talking about just one new for that product. And yes, I've luckily enough uh, turned off the radio, uh, or else I'll get a very big copyright infringement penalty going on from Capital, of course, yes, which is my local radio station at Birmingham, of course. I would hate to get a copyright infringement from listening um, legitimate music from that. Sorry about that, but I just can't allow any music from, you know, on YouTube at the moment. I think the only music I can only have is royalty free music and copyright free music obviously, eh? But anyways, do you remember I did a video about this electric car here? Which is actually a toy electric car which isn't powered via motors or lights or anything or sound chips or anything, it's just a basic replica of a Voxer or an Opel Corsair. Of course yes, it looks very interesting but what's even more interesting is this! whoop de do ho 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 ho! Now, of course, yes, people might think it's basically a much bigger um, hatchback, but to me, I actually see it more as an SUV, because obviously, this vehicle here, as you can see with my mouth talking in the video, is actually based on a Vauxhall or an Opel Grandland. Hooray! As you can see, that is the logo for Screamers, which is basically Flip Flap's version of Vauxhall, Opel, Holden. You guys can tell me, even Chevrolet as well, all the, all the other General Motors car brands and all the other brands from car, of cars from various um, marquees from General Motors, even though Vauxhall and Opel stepped away from Ge General Motors and gone into their direction with Peugeot and Citroen. But hey, it looks like a very cool looking car. Uh, of course, yes, as I just said earlier before, it is based on a Vauxhall or an Opel Grandland car. Of course, yes, we've seen a very huge What's interesting that about this year's summer is, is that we've seen a very drastic rise Yeah, so, sorry, I just need the top of the car, eh? Uh, we've seen a very drastic rise on toy cars. Uh, it's quite amazing that... Yes, yeah, so I didn't need to make, you know, trucks like this. And of course, yes, I've actually repainted and redesigned the whole model. I gave this truck here... Remember I did a video on that truck there, which was completely and utterly broken? Uh, strangely enough, I gave it a new coat of yellow paint uh, from a felt tip marker and also a new box because the new box um, is now used as, as a, um, a better replacement than the old box, which obviously looks like that. It's the same design, um, it, but it's a little bit more longer. Okay, so I think it used to be a little bit like that there, but it's now a bit longer, which is a little bit like that. So there's a bit of a redesign change going on the dump truck, but nevertheless, I. It looks nice and cool, isn't it, eh? Even though it's quite different, the logos are still present on all sides of the truck, particularly on the back. Uh, the colour of this truck is now a beautiful, brightish, yellowish colour. Of course, eh? it has been repainted and repenned, if that's a word, eh? <laughs> um, of course, yes, it's got a bit of white in it, but hey, who cares? Nevertheless, it is still quite a nice re-improvement of a truck model that I've made in 2021, but let me go back into the um, Grandland car, which obviously, what's his name? Of course, these are components are made in China and the UK. Um, a little bit like this guy here, but this car here, uh, I think it only has this top piece, which is that sort of trapezoid shaped base for the car. It's probably made in Thailand. I, I dare say this roof part here is made in the UK. Uh, but this car here is actually made from two countries, and the name of this car is called Spencer Silver Slog. So yes, even though he might look like an oversized hatchback, well, he looks like an oversized hatchback, but actually, he's an SUV. And there's his licensing plate, because obviously it looks pretty interesting. There's his, um, as you can see, SU72 um, VNK, I think that's what this licensing plate tells me. There's a bit of backlight action on the back. Uh, of course, there's uh, things that I like about this car. Is that it looks almost like a futuristic, you know, sort of hybrid petrol diesel sort of uh, SUV. I mean, I mean, it looks quite cool. Eh? It's a fairly nice looking car. The other thing is, is that how is this an SUV? I mean, I would technically see SUVs with an extra tire at the back with you know, a very cuboid sort of sh shape and buffy sort of look. Almost doesn't look any much as a, you know, as an SUV, although it says the word Grandland on the back, which probably explains why this car is designed after the Opel and Vauxhall 
Grand Land. Obviously, it's still quite a nice looking model. Um, the other thing is, is that if I grab this card here, which is um, obviously, um, what's his name here? Corny the Voxel Screamer's Corsa. Um, he looks very similar. In fact, the wheels look quite similar in the, the way I, I think, in my opinion. But look at how different, even though they look quite similar, look at how different this Grand Land uh, model is. It's still a beautiful model of a car. And there's a little few cap over there where the doors are. Next to it, of course, it's still quite a nice vehicle. Uh, I love the blue eyes on the front. It makes it sort of quite, you know, pretty cool indeed. I love the futuristic front over there. Of course, yes, it's got the Screamers logo, which has got that there. There you go. It's quite a fairly nice looking car here. Uh, the the thing I also dislike about the, as well about this car is that the wheels on this car is also a little bit loose. Uh, I've actually realised, I didn't realise, but I've actually pinpointed about the loose ax axles though. But nevertheless, uh, the best thing about these loose axled cars is, is that, yes, they're pretty much easy to freewheel. But if I go to like Corny, there's not much freewheeling action except for the front. So maybe this car might be a wheel wheel drive or a front wheel drive car. I've got no idea what it is, eh? Hey? But the best thing about this car is that even though it has got loose axles, which is not really the, one of the best things since sliced bread, maybe it's more like the worst thing since unsliced bread, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but hey, um, what do you think about this car? Uh, leave in the comments down below. Uh, please do so, because obviously, uh, of course, yes, it's designed as some kind of weird generic Disney Pixar's cars car character. Of course, hey, it looks pretty nice. Once again, just like the Voxel Corsa car, whose name is called Corny, uh, the roof pops up and you can store some things inside. Yes, Spencer, you're off for a good off-road adventure, but please make sure that you're very careful and clean at the same time. And of course, this is actually still a very nice car. Oh yeah! So anyway, so what do you think about this car? I uh, love the light sides on the... on the sides of course on the left and the right of course I love the front and the back but hey it's uh, still quite a nice looking vehicle so I think that's it a fairly nice looking vehicle um, but let me just show you closely on the detailings actually um, obviously I need to see if it is truly silver showing over there there's the Grand Land sort of detailing over there I love the windows I look like it's been tinted of course Nearly said Tintin, didn't I? <laughs> the Adventures of Tintin! Ho ho! What a coincidence! So, what I'm gonna say for uh, misnaming words, of course. There's the lights here, and there's the back here, of course, and there's the hood or the bonnet, if you can call it, eh, with those beautiful blue eyes on the windshield. As typical with the flat cars toys, they're all designed after Disney Pixar's cars toys, but hey, I tell you what, eh, these guys will be banged for buck. Fairly awesome, isn't it? Uh, pretty awesome cars. Fairly incredible. Yeah, it looks fairly, fairly nice to me, eh? I can tell you guys, I, I think that's it. So, I've actually realised that the Grandland car is actually a little bit larger if I compare it with the Corsa. Uh, although they're about the same sort of, you know, sort of length, the width on Spencer is a little bit wider than that of Corny. Corny the Voxel Corsa, or Screamer's Corsa, we're going to call it, eh? I love the front that they actually give the character, the, the car, a bit of definition into what make these cars are from. Of course, yes, they're from Screamer's, which is a generic brand that is based on Vauxhall, Holden, or Appel, or Chevrolet, or Buick, or any other car brand from General Motors. But hey, or even a Cadillac. I could make Cadillacs. Pretty awesome American cars. But hey, uh, that's probably about it uh, in this YouTube video, this toy review. So anyways, if you really enjoyed in this pretty simplistic and basic toy review for Friday, and thank God it's Friday, TGIF, if you really enjoyed in this video, please give this video a good like. Maybe I should do one, not two. <laughs> Subscribe for more for that videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching and... Bye for now.